everybody, this is April Stutzman. We got another episode here for you of Glory Stories. I'm so excited to be interviewing this special guest today to talk about the glory of God, some of the first times they experienced the presence of God, how they cultivated the presence of God, and different stories that impacted their life, whether it was transformation and the glory, miracles that happened, and I want you to be a part of what this guest has to say, how they have experienced the heart of God in his presence so that you, my friend, can enjoy their story and see how you too can experience the glory and the presence of God in your everyday life. So I'd like to welcome my special guest that I'm interviewing. We tried to get David Wine on here, and I don't know why. It worked perfect yesterday, no matter which way we requested him. He was not able to log in, but I wanted to share his, his broadcast and what he's doing in Haiti. We will try to get him on here very soon to do another glory story. Um, you can just see the presence of God on him. You can see what he's doing for the children. It's so exciting to see. So I went ahead and shared David's video. Instead, I'm going to interview my husband and we're just going to call out words of knowledge because we're not going to let the enemy get any any playground in our, in our broadcast. So we want to be able to minister to people live today as you log in, call out words of knowledge and just let my husband share a little bit of how he cultivated the glory. My husband has um, a strong gift in healing and prophetic and I just want the the Lord to be able to minister to people today because people look forward to the broadcast. They look forward to hearing different people's stories. So we just, um, I, I just, each one of you that are logging in, I don't know why the broadcast wouldn't work for David. It worked perfect yesterday, but I just want you to be praying for the kids that are there. Be praying for David's protection. Be praying for safety. Be praying for provision. Um, as you watch his broadcast, you can see the fruit and how fruitful he, what he's doing. My husband's going to be jumping in here in just a second. If you're logging in, just share. We're both going to just minister together. We're going to squeeze together and uh, just let him share his glory story since we couldn't get David on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, babe, you're going to share your glory story. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't put me on the spot here. Well, put him on the spot. So, I just want you guys, though, to bless David. I can't wait to have him on here. Like we said, we tested everything. It worked great yesterday, but I want you to be praying for David. He has such a testimony, and you can see the fruit of what he's doing in each one of these labs, and he's teaching the kids to move in healing. He's teaching the kids to do deliverance. He's believing for creative miracles, so he's really pressing in in Haiti. So I, I'm just going to let me and my husband minister um, in words of knowledge, healing, prophetic, whatever the Lord gives us. And I'm going to let my husband share his glory story. Hey mom, how are you? My mom's watching. So I'm sorry about the delay with the broadcast, but we're just going to have David back on here in another time. But I just want to celebrate. I, I just wanted to share his video so you guys can see um, what God's doing. If you want to follow his ministry, it's Black and White Ministries for Jesus. And he's the president of it, and he has 66 kids in that orphanage, a lot of them special needs. Hey, David, hey, bless his heart. I don't know why you couldn't get on, so I'm going to let my husband share his glory story and how my husband cultivated the glory. I've interviewed a lot of people, and my husband has interviewed people, but I want him to get his story out and um, be us to be able to minister to some people today. So, Lord, we just release your presence. We just release the spirit of unity right now. We just thank you, Lord, Holy Spirit, that, that you're going to move today mightily. We just bless David. Let's just pray for David for a minute since he couldn't get on the broadcast. I Amen. know he was so excited for it. So, David, we just bless what you're doing in Haiti right now. We just Amen. release a new fresh wave of yes, glory Jesus. over you and those children. Right now, we just ask that your presence just encamp around them. Even as, the, as they were worshiping, you could feel the glory. So we just thank you for the hedge of protection that's around David right now. And Lord, we just declare the next broadcast with him is going to be amazing. I don't know why we got so much resistance, but it's going to come through. Hi, Anna. How are you? So, honey, you want to share your glory story? <laughs> I want you to talk about the first time you felt God's presence. I would say... Um... And I just want to pray and release this because I just believe that everyone who's watching this right now will feel the tangible manifestation of God present, His glory, wherever you may be. And if you need a, a, a physical touch, if you need a, a deliverance, 
from addiction, if you need the power of God to touch you, to refresh you in a mighty way, yeah, on, I believe Spirit. that God is here to do those things for you because He wants you. You, you heal mind, will, and the emotions that you're at. And this is the season, this is the time, this is the day that Jesus can do the impossible. And all you have to say is, Lord, I just want some of that. I, I just want some of your glory. I want some of your presence. I want some I of want your, to know, you. to know you in an intimate way. And yes, we mm -hmm. could be touched and may not know him. And I understand that. Uh, there are many times that, you know, April and I have prayed for the sick and have seen them physically healed. Mm -hmm. And I believe in those things. But I also believe that he also wants that relationship with people as well. And so... Um, I just want to just say, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, you can just you, you can put your hands out in front of you as you're receiving his anointing, his presence in your life. So, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just release your presence, release your glory, that everything that we have been going through, everything that we've been seeing your presence in, in our secret place. Mm -hmm. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just release it, freely receive, freely give. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, what you're doing. I thank you, Father, right now for the revelation of mysteries with signs and wonders. Father, I thank you for Ephesians, Father, that you would know with wisdom and revelation to them, with greater dimensions, Father, greater impact upon their lives. And Lord, I pray that as we just come live right now spontaneously in people's hearts, into their living rooms, um, wherever they may be at, Father, that your presence and glory will come forth with fire and power right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, Holy Spirit, we ask you to send your healing fire angels, Father, with signs that follow, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. So thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And we're going to we're gonna pray for people's backs. I'm already seeing it. It may be Aaron's or part of the team members are coming back from Destiny Encounters that uh, just crampness of backs and things of that nature and so I need, a, I need to see spasms so we can just write that down dear on a piece of paper okay thank you lord so one of the things that i have learned in my own life and crying out before the lord and doing what god wanted me to do and and i became to a point in time in my life where i was really dev devastated about 12 years ago in a situation uh, in a marriage that really just ended up just throwing me, uh, you know, if Saul was thrown from a donkey, a horse, whatever, and thrown to the ground, it felt like my life was thrown to the ground. It felt like it came to an end and that I could not, I was blind to myself. And yes, I was a Christian and yes, I was going through things, but it was during those desperate desert storms of life that we have. We know that Moses went into the, de the desert for 40 years, that Jesus had to work with him. Holy Spirit had to work with him. Abba Father was talking to him about his plan and his destiny. And sometimes in life, it takes a while for us to realize our destiny and our callings in our life. And I just kept on growing. I kept on going and going. I never gave up. And even in my post today, I brought on there about learning forward, lean forward in the promises of God and what he has promised you. Do not grow weary in doing good. Do not grow weary, as the Bible says. Keep pressing into those things. And so I have spent, uh, generally on a Sunday, I would uh, spend at least an hour to hour and a half, two hours uh, on Sundays. I mean, don't, don't, don't get connected, hung up with the time. I'm only sharing that with you, otherwise I'd rather not. But it was a, a longer period of time is what I'm saying is stressing to you. Whatever Holy Spirit wants you to do, press into that. And that, for several years, I, I came to him and asking him, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? How are you going to use me in the areas that you have? And, and I just sought the Lord. And what, he, what I kept on coming back to that presence in time and early in the morning hours on Sunday mornings is, Lord, I want your presence and I want your glory. I want your presence. I want your glory. Week after week, week after week, Lord, I just want your presence. I want your glory. Lord, I can, I can just feel his electricity just going up my legs right now. Just the anointing, uh, the overflow. Uh, that, you know, all I wanted is his presence and glory. Nothing else mattered in my life at that point in time. I, I didn't want, I didn't seek fame. I didn't seek fortune. I didn't seek position. I didn't seek any gifts of healings. It's, uh, I didn't seek for the gift of miracles. I didn't seek the gift of prophecy, tongues, and interpretation, words of knowledge and wisdom. Those came in the birthing of it, uh, in seeking Him, and He's the one that saw our hearts and our lives and where we're at. You know, 
We love you too, Aaron. Um, so you're talking about how you cultivated the glory, and you're talking about like you just go after the Holy Spirit and Jesus with all your heart, with no um, no other reason but to be intimate with Him. Absolutely, there the is purity of just being hungry is what you're talking about. Absolutely, because I didn't have an alternative mode, if you want to say that, of the heart. Uh, yeah, you know, there was heart. there was nothing that I wanted more than his presence because what people don't understand in in uh what in my own personal life i mean moses has 40 years jesus has 40 days in the wilderness mine was two years of nothing but uh depress oppress and occasionally at that point in time i would share people with now of thoughts that come to my mind of thoughts of suicide uh, because it was really rough in my life and you know and so with that, I just said, Holy Spirit, help me make it. If you make it, I will use whatever I have in my life. Whatever it's in my life, Lord, I will give it to you. So the Holy Spirit delivered you. Holy Spirit delivered me, but it was a process. Yes, it wasn't something that I walked through. Somebody laid hands upon me, and those demons of depressed and oppressed left me. Uh, mm-hmm. It wasn't something that uh, that it happened once. I, I believe it can happen in my situation in personal life. We walk with the Lord. I had to trust Him, and it was a trust factor. The Holy Spirit wants is because He's looking at little by little as He gives you uh, favor, as He gives you gifts, and you grow into it. He will test you along the way. Mm-hmm. Yes. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. So. Um, so, you know, with that, I, I became uh, aware of words of knowledge. And the only way in knowing Abba Father and the goodness that he is, is he actually literally had to make my my, my chest run fast. Mm-hmm. It felt like I was going to die uh, over 12 years ago that, you know, I would go up to people, uh, either in a hotel room or restaurants outside of the four walls of the church. Let me just say it that way. And just know that God was there, you know, and he would literally had to make my heart race fast in order for me to do it. And I was in my 40s at the time. And, and to be honest with you folks, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> uh, he thought you didn't. I, well, I think... He I, signed up for kingdom. I signed up to do what Abba Father wanted to do for my heart. I, it, it was more obedience to obey than to disobey. And to disobey what Abba Father, Holy Spirit, had to say to me in those... Uh, speaking to me it was more it was better for me to do than not to do and so it was a process of of yielding myself yielding my mind yielding my body yielding my my body as a, a, a instruments you know romans chapter 12 present your body as a living sacrifice present it to him holy sacrifice unto him that he would do the good and perfect will in your life. And and sometimes we don't always know, honey, what that perfect will is until we step out and start doing and living like God wants us to do. So you're talking about as he cultivated the presence of God and he cultivated, God did some deliverance in his life. I want you to share one of your stories about, because we have some people on here who's been listening to glory stories for a while. They're cultivating the presence and let's share one of your stories about how God challenged you to do something really weird to move into the miraculous that you had to make the choice to be obedient to do. Do you want a word of knowledge during that either five way. year period? Or you want the very first miracle? Uh, either one. Whatever I, he, challenged he challenged you the to most do. to do that took a lot of risk for obedience. Let's do a risky story. I want a risky story for you guys to hear. I'm just trying to figure out which one because I have so many. I hate to say it that way. But in in the beginning, it was a risk every single time for me to step out and pray for somebody. I was not comfortable. I did not think I was called. I didn't think I was qualified. I did not you think... You had excuses. I like had some excuses. some of you guys listening, you may have yes. excuses. But you're a son and a daughter. I In the process of having excuses in my life, he was still faithful. Let me, let me say that. He was still faithful to get all the glory and honor and praise. And, uh, you know, there's, there, there's uh, a testimony story I can share with you when I was in, in Angelica, Tennessee... And uh, we were doing street ministry at that point in time. It was risky because I wasn't comfortable, per se, to do it on the street. I'd rather do it 
uh, inside Celebration Recovery, which they, that's where they were meeting at. And so I'm on the street corner and everything, and I just said, Lord, this is not my comfort zone. And he just said, you know, can I not do what I did in the church at Celebration Recovery outside the four walls? And he really challenged me, and I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And what I learned is this, honey, is that the gifts did not change whether I was right. in in the church, outside the Same. church, whether I went to, to Africa with Destiny Encounters, when I went to Brazil mm -hmm. with Charlie Champ's ministry and, and Hermes Juniors. I, those things didn't, uh, it, it followed me is what I learned. I'm like, well, God, you're pretty good. And so what I learned on that is when I, there was a lady there and she came up to us and I grabbed her hands and the Lord was giving me words of knowledge uh, about her life and where she was going through. And, and, and she felt the presence and the goodness of the Lord just coming through her hands. And, uh, and she was excited. She said, you know what? I don't know what this is, but all the pressure is coming from my, my life. And I just want to go back to rehab. I want to turn my life in. I want to make a difference in my life. And that God wants to, to do some things in my life. And I know I need to do this. And so I'm going to do this. And as I was having this, I was having an open vision where she was living at. And I didn't know this. And so I was describing like a there was a caboose that was right behind me. And I said, you see that caboose over there? And I just kind of pointed to the left over there. And I said, I almost see as if you're living in, in a caboose in somebody's like a house and you're tucked, you're tucked down and you're looking out and people can't see you, but you can see them for your protection. And I said, I don't know what this means. Mm -hmm. I said, but it really felt to me that you were concerned about your life. You're concerned about protection. You're concerned about uh, where you are at. Does this make any sense to you? And she looked at me. She said, yes, Richard. She said, I'm homeless mm -hmm. and I don't have a place to, to live at. And, uh, and, and that, that describes me. And I said, and the friend of mine who was with me, Benji at the time said, well, where do you live at? And he didn't even know this, but he knew her, kind of know her, knew her. And she was living in an abandoned, where, abandoned house down the street. And she said, Richard, everything you're describing is where I'm living at. And I said, Lord, what do you want me to do with this? And he just said, I want you to bless her with your presence and glory. I want you to kick out the enemy in her mindset that what she was going through and living and things in this nature, that God's power, his dynamis power, will help her set her free. And, uh, you know, she promised us the next day that she would go into the, the rehab center. And, and I don't know because, you know, I, we left, I left the next day to go back home. But here, here's my heart is when God can allow you to be an instrument to touch people's hearts and lives, where they're at, where they're hurting at, you can change them for eternity. It, it doesn't necessarily have to take you to an overseas uh, place. Uh, even though I, I'm all for missions and I love missions, and, and one of these days my wife and I together will go on a mission trip and and uh, hold a revival service, having some training service, things of this nature. But here, here, here it is: is that God wants you to know that people everywhere are hurting. Uh, everywhere on. that we're at, God wants you to read their mail, so to speak of. And if, if you don't have words of knowledge, He wants you to bless them in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know. He's the Bible says, Go forth in the name of Jesus, go out in the highways and byways and preach the gospel. And that's what we're to do and commission to do. And so, that's one of my stories of glory stories of, of ministering to somebody on a street. And that was probably about seven years ago. And then I could share with you my first healing miracles that took place. Uh, that I it really it really bothered me, just to be honest with you. I felt like Randy Clark in some way of it, and, you know, we're licensed with his ministry and all, and, you know, why little old me? How can God yeah. use me? That's who stirred up your gift and so, at the beginning, was Randy Clark, right? It, it was Randy Clark. He was he was one of the, the pioneers in my life, uh, James in Gall. In the beginning days. In yeah. the beginning days, yeah. James Gall, uh, you know, a prayer warrior or watchman on the wall, an intercessor. Uh, I just kept on listening to teachings and ministry that I can lay hold of. And when you know the Father's heartbeat, David's on here right now, he said amen. But when you when, when David touches those kids down there, mm. and when you hold them, mm. he's breathing Jesus' life into their lives. He mm. is seeing Jesus' eyes 
and, and the salve that he's placing upon them with anointing oil. He is seeing through the eyes of Christ. It's no longer that our natural eyes that see, but Christ who lives within us that we can see him, which is the hope of glory that brings the resurrection life in people's lives. It brings resurrection freedom to people's lives. It brings the resurrection of power of healing and miracles and signs and wonders in people's lives. It is transforming them as one life, one soul at a time in their lives. And so it just, it just gets you. I mean, it just, it just gets my heart, uh, just believing God's glory and praise and setting people free. So let's let's share. I just feel led by the Holy Spirit. I want you to release an activation because we've seen healings, miracles. We've seen new backs, new knees. And, and I just want to activate people here that are online and you haven't prayed for healing. I just want my, my husband and me to release impartation and just go to the streets. Start laying your hand on the sick. The Bible said we shall see the sick recover, not just prayed for. So really, good. I just want to encourage you as he shares more of his glory stories and um because we were just not gonna let the enemy st- steal this airtime we love you david he's watching right now for some reason we just couldn't get him on live today so we're just letting my husband share glory stories if you're logging in we're just going to share glory stories back and forth and we're just going to allow the holy spirit to minister to you so go ahead honey just activate people on here maybe they've never prayed for the sick before but they're cultivating the glory they're cultivating the presence and um just activate them amen uh before you do that i want to just I'm just feeling congestion. One of the, you know, Randy Clark has five ways of word of knowledge. You can see it, feel it, sense it, read it. You can just say it. In the spirit. In the spirit. Yeah. You can be James Gall that you know that you know. You know, you can have picture and pictures and all those things that I flow in is by the grace of God. He has nourished that gift in my life and I love teaching on it mm-hmm. and I love imparting that gift. And so let me just go ahead and do that right now and I'll just shift because at my chest, it felt like there was heavy congestion yeah. on my chest. And, uh, I, I, you know, it, it's just one of those things that, uh, that happened. And, uh, I got a different story in an airport and in a, uh, restroom, but I'll, I'll save that for later. <laughs> My wife has to tell me whether it's PG rated or whatever it's rated. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just real. I'm real. This is what you get. This is what you get. So Holy Spirit, I just thank you right now. I thank you, everyone that's hungry, that Lord, that not that's desperation, but Lord, it is a hunger and a thriving in their spirit, Lord. Lord, as they put their hands out to receive from Abba Father the good and perfect gift that comes from above. Father, we think we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you give you give everything that's perfect, everything to us, Father, that you don't have ears that is deaf. You don't have ears that's muted. You don't have ears, Father, that cannot hear you right now in the name of Jesus. But, Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you hear every cry, every heartache, every burden, every sadness, Father, right now from heaven, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, I just thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I impart, Father, everything you have given to me. Lord, I just pray, praise you, Father, right now for the gift of healings, the gift of miracles, the gift of wisdom, the gift of knowledge, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the gift of prophecy, the gift of tongues, the gift of interpretation, Holy Spirit. Father, I just release it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will go forth and lay hands on the sick. Lord, that they will go forth and bring people food. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just see somebody out there right now that you know somebody who needs food in their house. And Father, I just pray, Holy Spirit, Lord, as this is a a word of knowledge, a confirmation, Father, that Lord, that they will take the next step, Lord Jesus, that they will go and go to the grocery store and they will buy uh, food and take it to, I'm just seeing a, a woman, an older woman's house, Father, but it can be a younger one as well, so don't be discouraged about that. So Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I just pray right now that they would just be the hands and feet, the hands and feet, the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just release her right now, your power, your fire, your presence. We just release it, increase it right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Mm. Father, I just release a healing anointing, Father, over David's hands, Father, right now. Father, he has kids 
that he is supporting, that he's nurturing, Father, he's fostering their, his home kids, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, you allow his hands to become super hot right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I have seen this over 10 times. So I, I come by faith, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let his hands become super hot. On a stove of 10 right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that, that frequency of fire. Lord, I needed that comfort zone. I need to know, Lord, that when I laid hands on the sick, Lord, there was a there was a chance, a slightness that I was doing the will of the Father, Lord, to hear him, Lord Jesus. And Lord, since then, Lord, I've repented. And Lord, I just command it right now, your, your, your divine healing right now to manifest. Right now, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that he would go and lay hands on the child that is not hearing right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, April and I saw... Uh, mute and death spirit manifest up in, in Kenya, Africa last year. And Lord, I just declare and decree right now in the name of Jesus with Aaron's faith. Aaron's faith right now and everyone that's on here right now, we release it right now that David will do this right now mm -hmm. supernaturally. will lay hands on it and the child would speak and hear right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, right now in the name of Jesus. We take authority with, over that mute spirit with David right now. We just command that tongue and that little boy to be loosed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you're on here and we're calling out words of knowledge, um, whoa, just... Uh, Say you're say you you know I'm feeling this or I'm feeling that or I received this. I kept seeing a growth in somebody's neck. It's like a cyst right here. So we just command that growth to to shrivel up right now by the authority of Jesus Christ. We just command it to be in creative order. We command all the fluid to dissolve right now. And I just seen the Lord doing emotional healing. I seen him breaking trauma and rejection and all rejection from trauma. So Lord, we just command all trauma and rejection off their bodies right now. We command it off their cellular memory right now. Right now, we're just acting people on healing, ministering, and allowing the Holy Spirit to show up. My husband's just sharing some of his stories since I couldn't interview David. We don't know why it wasn't working. I'm interviewing my husband to share his glory stories because he has a powerful testimony and how he was afraid to be used by God because of um, just feeling insecure and went through some trauma in my husband's life and he got healed. And now God has allowed him to step out. I know that's for you. Just receive it. Just if that word is for your neck, just receive it receive we just command just put your hand on your neck Ina just command that cyst to dissolve in your neck right now just keep me updated we just release that healing anointing on your hand right now we command the lymph node the swelling to go down right now we just curse any stress or trauma any inflammation right now whoa in her neck just keep me updated Ina as we keep pressing in and um, sharing the testimony of Jesus Christ. It's on our left side. We'll just put your hand on your left side and command it to dissolve right now. We just continue to command I your lamp node and creative order right now. <laughs> She loved ministering with your husband. You've got to laugh with us, right? We know each other, how we flow in the anointing. So, hey, Bambi, how are you? So we're just, I just want to give a, the, a chance for people to accept the gospel right now. Thank as we're calling good. out words of knowledge, you got something else? No, I just want to go with you. So, Lord, right now, I just Thank you, I Lord. just command that, that, that black uh, swollenness right now. I command it to dissolve right now by the power and the glory of Jesus Christ. And Lord, Amen. as she takes her hands and she places it on that area, Amen. Father, I just release the angelic angels on assignment, Father, Holy Spirit, right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the frequency, the power, and the fire of healing come through her fingertips Amen. right now as a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command the, uh, the, 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 uh, we call it the not dot not kind of like cis symptoms right now. We just mm -hmm. command it to shrink mm -hmm. right now by the power, power, the fire of Jesus Christ, by the power and the fire of Jesus Christ. I command it to dissolve. Father, I'm reminded that when Lord, when I was in in, in India, Lord Jesus, they had growth, golders, and other things, Father, and they dissolve underneath my fingertip in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I just release it right now. Release it right now in Jesus' name. So I just want to give a people opportunity to share the gospel as the glory is just rolling here. I just want to release the glory right now. And if you need a miracle, just receive it while his presence here. If you just need a, a breakthrough in your body, 
even if we don't call it out. I just want to release the glory. Just release the glory, babe. We just release right the glory now. and unity. Thank we just Jesus. release the presence of God. It's Thank all you. about Jesus. Yes. And we just want Jesus to be magnified. And yes. show, he is here and he's alive. Anna, keep us updated. But I just want to give you a, a chance to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior right now. If you're logging in and you're like, they're talking about the glory, they're talking about the presence, but I'm not sure what all this stuff is, just say right now, just say, Lord... Jesus Christ, I believe you died on that cross for me. I just accept you in your in my heart right now. You you died. I'm just it's that simple. It's childlike faith. It's just childlike faith. Just say, Jesus, I accept you in my heart. You died on the cross for me. You were resurrected for me. Make yourself real to me. Make yourself known to me. Whoa. Right now. Just receive him in your heart. Just to see him. Amen. Just had an emotional release. So, Lord, we just ask you to continue to touch Ina right now as me and my husband share stories and yes. just release his presence. Whoa. I just ask you to just continue touching Ina. Lord, we just declare that virus, any like laryngitis out of her throat right now. We just command complete healing to her body and that she's able to speak right now. All right. So, I'm going to do something crazy. Crazy good stuff. That's what I tell people. So, Ina, I'm going to put my hand right there on that screen. And what yeah. I want you to do is a point of contact. And I, I love this. I do this quite a bit of time. And I see quite a bit of, of results. So, right now, Jeez. just put your fingers on the, the fingertips, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. I command the vocal cords to be loose right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I command the vocal cords yeah. right now by the power of you, and the Lord. fire of Jesus Christ. I command the vocal cords right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I can see the irritation on the inside, her, her throat right now. I command it to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I can command any inflammation that's in that throat. I command it right now by the Thank power Lord. and the fire of Jesus Christ. Amen. I command right now new body parts, Father, for her in the name of Jesus. Feel it. Release your healing virtues right now in Jesus' name. Well, my hand is Jesus. singing. Thank you, Lord. Sonny was at, on here asking, too, for prayer for night terrors. So I'm going to let my husband share a deliverance story. Any deliverance story that the Holy Spirit highlights to him with no names. I'm putting him on the Which spot. One? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> You've done lots no, of deliverance well, stories. <laughs> um, just just share one about like um, any that you had. Um, just trying to see what Holy Spirit wants to minister to you guys watching um, on here. Honey. My mind's blank. Oh, I put him on the spot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just want I just want to give the Holy Spirit. He'll bring you one up to you. I'm going to let my husband keep pressing in because there's something he wants to share on, on deliverance. But I want to break off night terrors if that's you, Lord. I just, I just declare we just break off night terrors in the name of Jesus Christ. She has her voice. Praise God. So, Lord, we just command Woo-hoo! the night terrors to be broken off. We just declare rest of God dreams right now by the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What about any testimonies from deliverance at, at the rescue mission? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just giving a minute for the Holy Spirit to move. Um, at the rescue mission, um, there was actually a lady. Deliverance or a healing in a process? It, both. I'm, I'm pulling him out on deliverance because we want to do some deliverance online. Yes. So can you uh, give us a little bit more detail? I'm the detail per- person. April's the headliner. Dang, dang. Did you feel any fire? Did you just feel it go? Did you feel so icing on there? Um, did it happen immediately? Mm-hmm. Was it when you actually touched the fingertips? Not that it's mine. It's Holy Ghost that's doing it. Mm-hmm. Kind of like the Paul Shadow that he just walked down the, the streets itself. Those are the things I, I love. Okay, Crazy so the Holy stuff. Spirit, we, we always love Holy Spirit. We honor him. So we always welcome him on the broadcast yes. before we go on. And so he's showing me, since me and my husband are one, he wants you to share the deliverance story about um, our friend that went on the Africa trip and her food allergy. Oh, yes. This Thank is our Holy wonderful, Spirit. wonderful friend. He always reminds us. Um, you know, sometimes... <laughs> It, it intertwines yes, it does. physical healing, whether it's in the soulish realm or whether it's in the spiritual realm or whether it's a physical. Uh, you know, sometimes with me, uh, what I find out personally is you go back and forth. Mm-hmm. And so we had a person on our trip last year to Africa, and uh, she was... Uh... Can you read that? 
Vibration. Keep telling your story. Vibration anointing. He's Hallelujah. listening to a testimony. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get sidetracked <laughs> over here. <laughs> I get side no sidetracked. So we were in Africa yeah, and everything, on, and this lady came up here, <laughs> and I just so happened, and this is how Holy Spirit does it with me, is he'll use previous testimonies to start having conversation with people that I have no idea why I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> it, it. You know, sometimes it, it's always a setup for somebody else to be healed, to be honest with you. And so this young lady was there and everything, and we were sitting at the, the, the dinner table or breakfast table, one of, one of those two places. <laughs> Anyhow, I was talking about uh, food allergies, uh, you know, and just talking about with, uh, she was allergic to milk and she just was intolerant to it. And I said, God healed this person. And I said, it's so exciting that he can do these crazy good stuff. And I didn't find out about it until about 30, 30 days afterwards. And I was excited about that. And so when we did, when we did at that point in time, she said, Richard, mm-hmm. I have lactose intolerance. I said, okay. I said, well, we can pray for that. And so mm-hmm. we uh, were trying to set it up. And we just came back from one of the street ministries uh, with Charlie that day. We are out on the street for about four hours, three, four hours. And, uh, I thought it was gluten. Gluten-free. Gluten, gluten intolerance. There you go. Lat- Which one's lactose? Is that gluten. Milk? Yes. She had a gluten intolerance. She had a gluten intolerance. Isn't it great? Anyhow. To be married. Yes. I'm <laughs> glad she keeps me straight. So she comes in, and I told her this. I said, mm-hmm. I am burning up. And, you know, for me, for people don't understand that. Just or, the glory. It's the glory, but it's actually a healing manifestation that I feel. It's like it's a frequency of fire. You know, I'm like, I'm hot. I'm burning up. And she's like, okay, Richard. And it's not the natural burning up that you think you're in a sauna. Somebody God. cranks it up to 110 <laughs> and you're sweating in there. It's yeah. nothing like that. It's internally in my in my body. Mm-hmm. And I don't know too many people that I've uh, studied mm-hmm. under ministry-wise. And I said, let's, you know, I said, I'm burning up. She said, okay, you got four minutes. And I'm like, okay, we got four minutes, dear, to pray for her. So she came over. We anointed her. Mm-hmm. And as we were praying, my wife discerned that it was a generational curse that needed to be broken off of her. And so she spoke to me, and I just declared and decree that this generational curse that her her mom had it, her siblings had it, or not her siblings, but her family had it, she was pretty well instantly healed because the next day she didn't say anything about it. We went out and had more crusades in the evening time, but when we came back to America, she said, I, I think it's healed and uh, more Holy Spirit, more Holy Spirit, release, release, release. And and, and she said, Richard, I, I'm going to wait. I, I'm going to wait. Give me about 30 days, mm-hmm. and I'd be more than happy to write something up. And um, it, it's in my timeline that April and I prayed for her in the name of Jesus, and she was totally set free. So yeah. if April's bringing this up, maybe somebody on here that's live, or maybe even on the replay, oh. if you have uh, that condition... Uh, lactose intolerance or gluten tolerance uh, in your body uh, you know we would love to pray with you yeah, but on. that was uh, that was a deliverance uh, to be broken off yeah and you so. always have to just follow Holy Spirit for you guys that are on here and you're like trying to learn how to move in healing trying to learn how to lose move in deliverance you have to really cultivate that's why we're talking about glory stories as I'm interviewing my husband since we couldn't get David on we're going to get David on again yes. for no reason the broadcast wouldn't work and it worked great for me and David yesterday but so we're just talking about how to cultivate the gifts and how to um, cultivate the presence and as you cultivate the presence and you get close to the father and you get close to Jesus you start caring about his kids because that's God's heart so it gives you desire to reach the hungry. It gives you the desire to pray for the sick. It gives you the desire because he loves his children. Yes. And he wants to use each one of you that are on here to move in healing, to move in deliverance. So you maybe you've never done anything before gluten here. So that's why God wanted me to share that story <laughs> because he wants yeah. it. So Lord, we just come in agreement. We have a we were sharing a testimony that the Lord told me to share a deliverance story. And we had to press in and see which one Holy Spirit wanted us to share. And there was a gluten allergy that was healed that we prayed for in Africa. So Lord, we just uh, come together in unity. We just break any generational iniquity in Sandra's life that that uh, could be passed down the bloodline of gluten allergy. Whoa. In the name of Jesus, we just cut the cord of that iniquity. We repent for that sin. Lord, we just command creative order right now to all of her tissues, all of her cells, all of her stomach, her stomach lining right now. We just command um, any trauma 
any trauma out of that bloodline right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just command it all for cellular memory right now. Yes, Lord. Right now, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, that you're touching Sandra right now. Yes. You're bringing restoration, Lord, for her. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Whoa. We just thank you, Lord, that you're setting her free right now from all gluten allergies right now. Lord, I just break any generational curse of rejection as well. I'm just flowing with Holy Spirit right now. Lord, I just cut the cord of that iniquity. I think you're taking all rejection off the cellular memory right now of her body. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoa. We just ex speak acceptance and love of the Father to wash over her and just heal her heart right now. Right now. And Lord, um, hang on a second. You got something? Yeah, I'm going to pray. Okay. All right. I'm going to pray. <laughs> That's what happens when you're ministering as a couple. Uh, well, I, I we learned, both flow in Well, it, yeah. I, I learned this past weekend with, with John and Julie. They they interact with each other yeah. and still see creative miracles that's taking Go place. It, so, Lord, I just come in right now. Uh, her stomach, her enzyme mm -hmm. father, her pH father, oh, of Sandra right. right now in the name of Jesus. I command the gluten condition to go right now it's a symptom of a cause and we just break that generational condition off right now in the name of jesus father let her feel inside her stomach inside her gut area everything else father we just command right now in the name of jesus to be healed lord the spirit of jesus spirit of prophecy lord when that that person was healed father at that church lord jesus it, you can do it again and so, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just command all of it go right now in the name of Jesus. I command the pH, the enzymes, everything, Father. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we just say, declare healing, power, fire over her body in Jesus' name. So, yeah, we're just Amen. sharing stories. I'm just interviewing my husband since David couldn't log in. And I see like three or four people. I'm just scrolling through my screen that have gut issues. But I have a word of knowledge for diverticulitis. That could be one of the issues that's going on. So, Lord, I just command anything in their colon to dissolve right now that's not of Holy Spirit. Any nuts, any popcorn, any seeds that could be stuck in their colon, we command it to dissolve. We just command creative order. Right now, we just command their pH balance to be back to normal in their gut right now. We just command everything, all the fissures in the gut right now to be back into creative order. Whoa. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just speak to her thyroid. We just command creative order right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just declare any Graves disease, any high or low thyroid. Lord, whatever the situation is, we just command creative order in our TSH levels right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we just command the pituitary gland as well be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we just command and release your healing angels. Accelerate, accelerate that area, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. I command perfect pH and the thyroid. I command right now to be healed. Lord, just let the frequency of God right now just touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Just touch that organ. We just release it right now in the name of Jesus. Let their let them sense your, your glory. Let the, the anointing that comes upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus. Right now. Lord, I command even the bloatness. Lord, as they take their hand as a, as a, as a point of contact. Lord, as they put it on their stomach right now. I command the lower GI, lower GI upper GI, the gut itself right now. I command it right now. Lord, I see swollenness, Lord, in, in, in the areas of that organ. Yeah. So, Lord, we just rebuke inflammation, rebuke uh, spirit of infirmity, spirit of affliction. Lord, we just bind that spirit. We command yeah. it to come out right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, right now, that, Lord, if they're having, having any offense against anybody else that's causing... Uh, mental stress and, and issues, Father, right now, that's causing stomach uh, uh, pain right now. We just command it out right now in the name of Jesus. We just, we, on their behalf, Holy Spirit, we just ask for forgiveness of the other person, the other party right now in the name of yeah. Jesus. And Lord, we just command and release your healing. Release, Holy Spirit, your healing angels right now on the assignment. We just said, gut be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Upper GI be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Small intestines, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I command tummies to shrink right now in the name of Jesus. I command any bloatness right now, the gut area. I command it to shrink, Father, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release it right now. Release your angels, supernatural healings and signs and wonders, Lord. You said it will follow us. And Lord, we just release it right now. Release it right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, on somebody's left-hand side of an incision uh, from an accident or some uh, surgery, 
Uh, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I command right now that that left side, whether somebody's on here right now or whether they're going to be uh, replaying the replay, we command it to come out right now in the name of Jesus. And any incision that's yeah, taken place, we command it to be whole. Fill it up right now in the Holy Spirit. Father, we command right now all pain from the left side and the midsection area of their stomach. Lord, we command it to be healed all for the glory of Jesus Christ, Lord. We just release your glory right now in Jesus' name. And we just pray for Bambi right now as we're going to share some more stories. Um, I just declare, I just break any generational curse of your thyroid that could bring Graves' disease. We cut the cord of that iniquity. We break every assignment of the enemy. We just command creative order to your thyroid right now. And I just seen a right ankle. I seen a strain on a right ankle. I just command that right ankle to be healed. Full flexibility. I just break any, I just curse any roots of trauma or stress that's been done to that ankle and command it off the cellular memory and just say, um, do something on that ankle that you couldn't do if you're on here live. We just, uh, my, I just started interviewing my husband because for some reason David couldn't get on even though the broadcast was perfect yesterday. So I want to just keep praying for people as people are getting healed. We've already had some people have testimonies. Um, I, my lymph nodes on left were all taken out. I received that healing. But I've seen God sh do supernatural and, and bring parts back that you need back. So, Lord, if you want to just do a Holy Ghost replacement for her lymph nodes, we just call creative order to them right now. And just, Lord, every part of her body, any trauma where they took those out, we just command it off the cellular memory right now. We just say creative order to Michelle's body right now. Feel heat. So we continue to touch Bambi. Right yes. now in her thyroid, we command creative order to her thyroid. People are just yes. getting healed on the broadcast, so we're just pressing in for a minute. We'll share some more stories in just a little bit. Do you want to know why Thank Michelle is Spirit. taking those out? Thank you, Lord. So, yeah, yeah. It, it's up to her if Michelle feels comfortable sharing anything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just bless what you're doing for Bambi. We bless what you're doing for Michelle right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we just call it break any back spasms right now. Right now, I see a pulled muscle on the back. I just command creative order to your back right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just, I just see them touching people that are logging into the broadcast. I just want to honor Holy Spirit. So what was that ankle? Thank you, Lord. I just seen a right ankle that was strained. Lord. So Lord, right now, I just I just Jesus. command new ligaments, mm -hmm. tissues in that ankle, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. I command ankles, uh, the tendons, the muscle Thank tissues to manifest right now, new body parts from heaven to earth. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I just release it right now. I release it in your name, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I thank Jesus. you, Holy Spirit, right now in the name of Jesus. And on, and on the top side of somebody's ankle, Lord Jesus, Lord. I command that muscle that has been uh, a contention, a, a pain. And Lord, I, we just rebuke the spirit of infirmity, spirit of yeah, affliction off of that ankle, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. I command right now in the name of Jesus. I command right now in the name of Jesus to manifest new body parts right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. My husband's ankle was injured this week along with his knee. So, Lord, right now, Come I thank on, you, Holy Jesus. Spirit, yeah. as she intercedes, as Tammy intercedes for her husband, Lord Jesus. I just release right now your healing miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Your healing miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Come Jesus. Right now thank in the name you, of Jesus. Mm -hmm. thank you, Lord, where Spirit. the top texture is, Lord Jesus, where the ligaments actually almost is like it's uh, mm -hmm. been severed so lord we Come release on. it right now a brand new spirit. unsevered lord i break the trauma off of the accident that happened lord for tammy's husband rather right Come now in the name on. of jesus. jesus father right now in the name name of jesus in the name of jesus lord i just release right now that bad tendons in valerie's right ankle lord we right just now. heal right Strength. now in the name of jesus Strength. healing right now in the name, in the of, name jesus. of jesus and lord where the arch is at where it goes on the top side i command that new body part that i'm seeing i just release and i command it to come forth right now by the Bye. power of jesus christ i command ligaments tissues and father there is a harder substance on that top side and we just command it to manifest right now in the name of jesus all pain go right now by the authority of jesus christ by the authority of jesus christ and lord i just release healing virtues and lord i thank you jesus that lord even several months ago lord you prayed we prayed for somebody in the name of jesus and their knees were healed and lord right now in the name of jesus i command right now 
over Tammy's husband's knee would be healed, Lord, that she would go back and lay hands upon his knee mm. and say, call forth, I command the knee to be healed right now in the name of very, very simple. Just say in the name of Jesus, I command this knee to be healed right now by the power of Jesus Christ. And Lord, if it needs a new attendant, new ligaments, new tissues, Lord, we call forth what's not as though it, it are. It, it is by faith in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yeah, so even as we're praying for the sick on the broadcast, you, everybody that's on here, you can pray for the sick. You can you can stir up the gift that's inside of you, whatever gift that we're doing. It, it, we're just daughters and sons. Yes. You know, the, the many that are, are led by God are the sons of God. And I just feel the glory really heavy right now. So I just want to pause and honor his presence right now. Because people are going to be listening to this at, on later dates, you know, on the broadcast or on podcasts. And I would, I just want to release his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your glory. Whatever miracle. I'm just going to start calling out stuff that I see in his presence. So that if you listen to this at a later date or you listen, we've had people that have been healed on this broadcast. Um, given testimony to how God is still touching them right now. I just want to release his presence so that in the podcast, if you need, uh, I see God healing migraines right now. I just command creative order right now, right now to your to your um, arteries, your veins, and your head. Lord, we just clearly have the mind of Christ. We command all infirmity off their mind right now. Right now, I even see the Lord healing schizophrenia. We just curse yes, any Lord roots Jesus. of trauma or fear. Yes. Right now, we just command all the stress and trauma off their cellular memory. Right now, we just command that who the sun sets free is free indeed. I just thank you, Lord, for even delivering them. Lord, just get everything out. Whoa. They just have the mind of Christ. We just command chemical balance to everything that, that you want to touch in their mind right now. Honey, you got some more? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I actually saw a, a blind eye. I mean, this is going to be stretching yeah, some people here, Jesus. but, you know, maybe somebody on the replay has a, a and I think it's on the right it's on my right, so typically it's the other person's like side. Like blurry vision, or all no, the blind. No, it's it's worse than that. Okay. It's it's probably about uh, 75 five percent blind. Okay. Um, and of oh, course, goodness. I'm having a, I'm still healing from my infirmity. Amen. Going I, to I Michigan. Stronger. Hallelujah. Thank so, Jesus. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, mm. I just command the condition of blindness. Off of the right eye, but if it's somebody's left, just grab it, receive it. I want some of that, Holy Spirit. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, I command right now, total blindness to be made whole right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I command the retina in the eye socket to come back right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, I command the pupil that's on the back of the eye socket to be made whole, reattached. Lord, I command right now that the eye socket reattached. I command the eye to see. I command the eye to see right now in the name of Jesus. I command the eye to see clearly right now, 2020, in that eye, in Jesus' powerful, mighty way, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Mm. So, yeah. Is there any other glory stories of healing you want to share? Well, I could do my first one that ever happened to me that uh, it's kind of funny, humorous. It may encourage other people. Yeah, um, come on. So we were, um, so I was driving on my way to Celebration Recovery about, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it's pretty funny, guys. five years ago or so, and uh, and the Holy Spirit was speaking to me, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, what would you like to say? Who would you like me to minister to? Who would you like me to encourage? Who would you like me to lift up? Who would you like me to, um, I should be open, in the name of Jesus, amen. And so I, 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 as I was driving, the Lord said, there's a lady there. She's got black hair between 40 and 50, and she has carpal tunnel. And I, I had the place. So you know what? I was kind of comfortable that I had five words of knowledge, folks, that this person had that condition there. And I just, I just told Holy Spirit, because I, I prayed for people in the past four or five years for physical healing and really didn't see it manifest and as I'm driving down the street, I'm just having a normal relationship with Holy Spirit, and this is His relationship with me. And and I just I just spoke to Holy Spirit. And I just said, you know what, Lord, if you would do what you say you're going to do and reveal it to me, uh, you you would make my life much easier. It, it it really would be encouraging for me to see the manifestation of the healing power of Jesus Christ. 
And so you were uh, having a dialogue with Holy Spirit. I was having a dialogue with Holy Spirit. And he's real with Holy Spirit. And I'm real. Because you can be and real I, with I, Holy I, Spirit. And I want you guys yeah. to be transparent. I mean, Holy don't, Spirit. don't yeah. pull any punches with him. I mean, he, 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 knows, can handle it. he knows what you're thinking anyhow, so you might as well go ahead and be straight with him. Yeah. And so <laughs> I'm there saying Holy Spirit, you know, and, and all I heard the Holy Spirit said with me is these two letters, O-K, O-K. Okay. This is the beginning. And yeah. this was the beginning of it. Yeah. And it really, to be honest with you, it just passed my intellect, my mind. And Hallelujah. I'm like, okay. And so Hallelujah. I really didn't think about it any any, any further or anything else. And so mm-hmm. as I'm there that week and I get done with work and I'm, I'm going to this celebration recovery place and I get up and I talk about a five minute little sem- sermonette about Jesus healing somebody. And, mm-hmm. and I share this, this, uh, word, five words of knowledge there that somebody has this condition. You, you, you're a woman, mm-hmm. uh, you're 40 to 50, you have black ear, you have carpal tunnel and God wants to touch you. And so I get done at the very end and they have some other things. And a lady came up to me and said, Hey Richard, I just want to let you know that I have that condition. And you know, I, I kind of stepped back and I said, well, what condition is that? And mm-hmm. she said, I am the one who has carpal tunnel. And uh, and I said, oh, really? I said, oh, okay, well, that's good. And so I just took her hand, and I asked her, and, and she raised both of her hands to me, and I said, well, which hand is it in? She said, both. And all of a sudden, you have to understand something. I, 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 I didn't have any history. I didn't have faith level build up, if you want to call it that way, or anything else in the glory realm. To, to feel that, you know, and I'm like, dear You're Jesus. I was, and I yeah. said, dear Jesus. To be obedient. And I said, dear Jesus. Yeah, you'll see the results. Yeah. My wife keeps on interjecting. <laughs> I'm interpreting through. for you dear guys. Dear Jesus, <laughs> help me. And, and, and I said, Lord, I said, she has it in both of her hands. And I heard the Holy Spirit speak these words to me. He said, Richard, what's one plus one? At this point in time, I was like, you know, oh, as a man, I can only listen to do one thing at a time. That's how I'm wired up. But except when Holy Spirit Jesus, Abba Father, talks to me, I can have a two-way conversation. Mm-hmm. And, and and I told Holy Spirit, I don't think you understand. You know, she's asking for healing, and it's both of our hands. And and I, and I continued to pray, and Holy Spirit asked me the second time, mm-hmm. what's one plus one? And I said, what does this got to do with anything? Do you realize it is in both of her hands? You know, I'm, I was like, I need a 911. Lord, I don't know what to do. You're asking me a question, and I don't know what the answer is. And so he asked me the third time, and I've learned to listen to the Holy Spirit when he speaks to me. He said, you know what, Richard, what's one plus one? I said, it's two. Hmm. But can I ask you, Holy Spirit, what does this have to do with anything? And Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, do you think it's any harder for me to heal one hand versus two hands? Mm -hmm. And I told Holy Spirit, you know what? I have no idea. Why are you asking me this question? Because I had no record at that point in time. I've never seen the first time God ever used Richard Stutzman for healing. And it kind of really freaked me out because I'm like, you know, I don't know. He said, no, Richard, if I can heal one hand, I can heal another hand. And I just said, you know what? Okay. I, I went for it the best I could, and I just held her hand, and I said, yeah. in the name of Jesus, I just command mm-hmm. uh, carpal tunnel to come out of her hands in the name of Jesus. And it was a very simple prayer. It wasn't very long, mm-hmm. and I really didn't feel a whole lot of unction. Or I didn't feel a whole lot of anointing flow, to be honest with you, at that point in time in my life. And uh, I left, and I went home <laughs> to, the, to the hotel room at that night, and I said, Holy Ghost, I said, you know, what, what? Can you talk to me a little bit more? And he said, something something happened, and and it birthed something in me of excitement. (laughs) It birthed some faith in my life. It, 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 it's something that uh, that God said, you know what, Richard, I'm doing this in you. And, 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 and so I reached out to her. She added me as, as a friend. Dolores is her first name. And uh, every day I would text her through Facebook Messenger <laughs> saying, hey, how's your hands? How, how's your f- fingers doing? How's, how's that carpal tunnel doing? Mm-hmm. What I did tell you this is the week of, she actually went to the doctor on Tuesday that she was diagnosed and the pain was so severe, and that's why she went to the doctor, and Dr. Jesus hero that on that Thursday night. So it's amazing. Obediency. Obediency is the key, folks. It's listening to the Holy Spirit, obediency. Because you can have words of knowledge. You can have a wisdom from above. But if you never act upon it, you're yeah. being or disobedient what God wants you to do. 
If God tells you to do something, to share mm-hmm. something, whatever else, if you don't do it, it's really disobedience. Have I been That's there? Crazy. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. I have been there. And I'm sharing this testimony for other people to know that they can do this stuff and pray for people. And so for every day for two weeks, for 14 days straight, I would text her. <laughs> and every time she texted me back, my mind was, oh, I can't believe that. She was growing your faith. Did God really yeah. use Richard Stutzman? Uh, did he actually do these things uh lord mm-hmm. you got the wrong person lord i don't qualify for this lord I, and you so i excuses. and so i had identity issue i had yeah. uh i had issues you. yes god <laughs> delivered me who am i, <laughs> I i'm second class i'm little old all richer these ungodly all beliefs, these ungodly beliefs and yet seeing the miracles the take place in my life Get and so this is what i say to anybody who's watching it live right now who's yeah. watching the replay is that, you know what, you can have all these things going on in you, and Holy Spirit can still be a vessel of honor in you yeah. to bring all the glory and all the honor and all the Jesus. praise to Him Come and to on. Jesus, because that's what He was looking at. Let me just share something with you this personally. God knows more about you and what you're yeah. capable of doing than you do yourself. Come Let on. me say that again. Holy Spirit knows what you're capable of doing, where your destiny's at, what doors and opportunities that you're going to have before you are actually going to know it. Because when we raise our hands up to the Holy Spirit, Come on. Abba Father Jesus, to reach us, to take us to the destiny, He reaches down and He yeah. pulls us up beyond that we can think, do, or ask for yeah. anything else that we can say. And that's what the awesome thing that I've learned from my personal testimony with him. And since then, you've been stepping out and growing and healing. That was like five years ago. But I've heard Holy Spirit giving me somebody's excuse on here. And I hear the Lord saying, do not despise small beginnings. So if you're on here and you're you're starting to write a small book, be faithful. Don't don't despise small, small beginnings. Or if you're releasing prophetic words at restaurants right now, some of our most powerful prophetic words have came in restaurants. Yes. Have we been out to eat as a couple or in front of my son? I know one time I released a word and it was totally out there. Just a really odd prophetic word. And I knew it was Holy Spirit, so I just released it. I left the restaurant. I never knew the impact, you know. And, and I went back like a month later and she remembered me. And she came up to me crying and hugged her hugged me and just shared how much that testimony meant to her. So if you're on here and you're trying to steward the gifts that God has activated you in, hey, Michelle, how are you? Just uh, allow the Holy Spirit to continue to help you cultivate the glory. Be It's all about Jesus. It's all about knowing Jesus. We don't seek the gifts, but the gifts Amen. are just fruits of knowing and being intimate yes. with the Father because you care about what He cares about. Yes. And then you care about the kingdom because it's it's God's kingdom. So I just see, I just heard it, somebody giving the Holy Spirit an excuse. This is such a small, small thing, small miracle, small healing. I've seen a wrist healed or I've seen a knee healed or I've seen this healed. Just keep going. Just keep going. It's small beginnings or or what God just kind of tests you in to see if you're going to be faithful. And as you continue to pray for the sick or as you continue to prophesy people in the grocery store or prophesy to your waitress or, or release words of knowledge, whatever your gift is, or or you start stepping out in deliverance. I know that we're going to start a, a deliverance on Zoom and we have a waiting list and we're working on it. We've been traveling almost the whole month of October and we're still traveling next week, but we haven't forgot about about you we're, we're, we're in the process of getting everybody scheduled and um, balancing everything out with ministry and work so we we just say if you are doing deliverance you know ask the Holy Spirit do I need to do it on zoom do I need to do it um, start with with a training center that's close by what training I need to just be faithful because I've seen the Lord blessing many on here are hungry and I see that that just whatever excuse the enemy's trying to do is this is so small just be faithful whether it's that book that's coming out whatever it is I see the Lord blessing it whoa as you step out and continue to use the gift that you have amen thank you Holy Spirit well, I would be, Woo-hoo! I would definitely be a prime <laughs> candidate of that because it was just little by little, you know. One of the oh, things that I, I, I really want to do a great teaching of is hearing the voice of the Lord, and you yeah. know, Sean Bolts out there has a great uh, teaching on that. Other people have it on that, and I think oh, it's just communion with Him. Yeah. Uh, journal, you know, one of the things I is read your it. word, journal, Come and on. then I would say, you know, close your Bible and Holy Spirit, and just go into the presence. So you do want to read the Word of the Lord. You do want to uh, journal. 
and ask Holy Spirit in the passages that are you reading, how does that impact you? How does it apply to you? How does it apply to somebody else that you may be a blessing for that day? And ask Holy Spirit to set you up uh, to uh, give you a word of knowledge. Or, you know, I this is what I say when I teach words of knowledge class at, at several places, is even if you don't have words of knowledge, just ask Holy Spirit, you know, there are four th- three or four things you can always pray for. You can pray for family members. You can pray for finances. You can pray for sickness. Yeah. You can pray for relationships. So when you're out and about, mm-hmm. what got, oh, what I, helped me to get over my shyness, quietness, <laughs> uh, timidness, mm-hmm. you name it, is, mm-hmm. is, is, is. I had a list of the is, <laughs> probably about 10 of them going on, or maybe 20. Mm-hmm. Why I couldn't do things here, and by the way, I, I I was I was actually you know sometimes you just heard me kind of stutter like that, and I said, God, I'm like Moses, Lord, I, I can't I can't speak, Lord, and I definitely don't want to get behind the pulpit, Lord, I just that scares the jeebies out of me, and I'm still working through that one, but anyhow, I'm doing it by the grace of God. But I said, Lord, I I, I feel like Moses right now, you know, I got a stutter impeachment impairment, and so this is what he spoke to me. He said, Moses, or use that deck of cards of excuse, Richard, and you don't have one. And I would tell you this, I'm as real as get real as get out here. I was Go mad right at Moses for almost probably 60 days of my life. During that time, I would get up in the morning, and if if I could blow steam out, you know, like a, a, a of a bull yeah, that blows steams out of his nostrils, I was really upset. And I asked, I said, Lord, I'm not happy about this because you're asking me to do something. I don't think I can do this. And he just spoke to me. He said, oh, yes, you can. And he would never give me an answer, generally speaking, during that time frame. So basically I had a conniption like a little baby, just to be honest and with you. Repent. And then after that time and that season, I repented because I said, like, okay, God, I, I, I think I, I think I got all of it out. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to, spoke to me. If you want to call it deliverance, you can. He said, all right, Richard, now you need to repent. You know, you have more to give than you know. You have more to give than you know. And you may be listening to this right now. Yeah, come on. And the Holy Spirit may be asking you to take the step of faith. Come on. Just, I'm not even saying start in the ministry. I'm not even saying uh, do a church. I'm not even saying do different things big, but do something small. Mm -hmm. He said, Richard, there's more in you Mm -hmm. that you don't realize that you have to give to the world today that needs it. And so through the, the through the, the the warfare that I've been through, through the things I have been through in my personal life, God is now using that to be a blessing to somebody else. And so, Lord, I prophesy, I declare and decree as a prophet of God right now in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you kick out any uh, reservations, mm-hmm. hesitations, uh, being timid, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. Father, mm-hmm. I just rebuke and command any second-class thinking that, Lord, only the people on the stage is, is designed to do this. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you equip them with uh, words of knowledge, Father, words of wisdom right now in the name of Jesus, that they will do what you have called them to do, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are the equipper. Lord, you you, you sent out the seven, you sent out the twelve, you sent out the seventy, Father, in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, that they were equipped with power, the dunamis power, the dunamis power and light of Jesus Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said you used the foolish things in our lives to confound the wise. And Lord, I am the candidate of all candidates. I don't care anybody else out there that want to use that card or that deck. I'm telling you, I was the candidate that said, God, why would you use me? Uh, And because I'm so... I'm just Richard, a child. a child, and Lord, I don't have the elegance of all the training and teaching that some of the other ministers have, but I would know the voice of God and I see his work now more so than ever before. So Lord, we release it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I just command any small mindset right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they say that they're not qualified right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, it's not the quality it's the availability, Father. I thank oh, you, Holy my. Spirit. It's not the degrees necessarily. It's not what they have acquired. Come it's on. not the wealth that they have. It's not the prestige of being a president, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, even though those can be the cases, Lord. But, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I just say you qualify them. Lord, yeah, your blood on. qualifies come them. On. The They're cross children. qualifies yeah, them. Lord, that there are sons and daughters of you, Father, that you qualify them to step out, Lord. Lord, I cannot wait until mm-hmm. a testimony comes back on either April's Facebook or my Facebook 
private message or public on here, Lord Jesus, that, that Lord, this stir them up, Father, to go out and to make an impact on an individual life. Lord, I just thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord, there's somebody out there who knows Mm-hmm. someone who's dark-skinned that needs to know the voice of the Lord. And Father, I declare and decree, Father, the voice and the heartbeat of love will go Confusion. forth in them right now in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree, Father, as they do this, Lord, that this will be a sign and wonder, mm-hmm. Lord, as they do it, that they know that God knows the end from the beginning. He knows this person, this young man, Father, that needs to have a just a, an encounter with you of a presence, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you instilled mm-hmm. into them your goodness and mercy that overshadows them in Jesus' name. And we just break that confusion off their mind right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. We just declare clarity, clarity, clarity to the voice of God. We just declare no double-mindedness, that they just have the mind of Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for just setting them free right now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Donna, how are you? All right, so... We didn't get to interview David. We couldn't get him on here, even though the broadcasts. Um, so we'll, we will interview him in the in the next uh, probably couple weeks. We are actually going to spend some time with uh, our son and have a little mini va- family vacation to just enjoy each other. We've been on the road for about five weeks straight, and uh, we're just thankful for each one of you that's been logging into Gl- Glory Stories. It's been shared in different countries. Um, just on podcast, you can log in and just cultivate the glory. And I interviewed my husband, Richard Stutzman, since we couldn't. He's a co-founder with me for Kingdom Flame Ministries that we just want to come on here and let him share some of his stories as he's an amazing storyteller. And we've had some testimonies of people being healed on the broadcast. So if you were healed on the broadcast, would you just... Uh, Post it if you feel I don't have to share your name. I, I respect people's privacy, but if you want to message me or just um, post it publicly, whatever you feel led to do. We just want to share the the, te- the spirit of Jesus as the spirit of prophecy. I'm sorry, the glory is so thick right now. I just want to release His presence right now. Whoa, everybody watching as we 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 um just come out of this broadcast that's just want to camp here in his presence we just honor holy spirit we just thank you for touching everybody on here right now you just wash over them you teach them how to have just revelation of your presence the intimacy i just feel god's heart for intimacy this is a call to intimacy i just he's just speaking that right now this is a call to intimacy he wants to know your heart he wants to bring transformation to your heart he wants to make the dead places alive in your heart Whoa. I just prophesy over hearts. You know, Jennifer Vez did this to me, and it really started a, a, a process in my heart. And, Lord, I just thank you for everybody that that's under the sound of my voice, whether replay or, or through podcasts. Lord, we just declare any resurrection of heart, any dead places in their heart yes. that have uh, been wounded, Whoa. any roots that have been there. I just thank you, Lord, you resurrect the dead hearts. So just do a prophetic act on yourself. And even if you don't think anything's there, I just say do it by faith because if nothing's there, the Holy Spirit won't bring it up to you. But if there is, just resur- just put your hand on your heart and just, just say, I resurrect, Holy Spirit, just resurrect my heart. Any place that's hurt, any place that's been through trauma, rejection, abandon, abuse, um, whatever it is, just big or small, just allow the Holy Spirit to just minister that transformation in His presence. As you listen to the different glory stories, I have people from all walks of life being interviewed on the glory and um, how God touched them, how they cultivated the glory with all different strategies. You can follow it on podcasts and just cultivate His presence. Allow the gifts to be made manifest in your life as an overflow of His presence. We, you know, we, we worship Jesus. We don't worship the gifts we, we, but the Holy Spirit and Jesus and the Father, they're three in one. And there's just something when you learn to listen to each one of them. And you when you learn that the Holy Spirit is manifesting God's presence around you and how to... Um, how he just speaks to you, how he just, he heals the, the, the rough places. He heals the bruised places and he just wants to know you. He just wants to know. So I just feel the Father's heart. This is a call to intimacy this week. So take 10 minutes. Get hungry for God's presence. Take, you know, if you have 10 minutes before work or 10 minutes before your bed, just worship him. 
and allow the Father to speak to you and to resurrect those dead places in your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. I just ask you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would release, I'm going to just use the word mother's heart. Mm-hmm. Father, I just come in right now in relational relationships of the heart. Come on, Lord. Relational yeah. relationships of the mother. Mm-hmm. Lord, we're all on here, so we have a mother. We have a natural father. And Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, I command any scars, any trauma, yeah, come on. any bitterness, come on. any resentment right now in the name of Jesus against their mom. Mm-hmm. Not to say what they did or didn't was right or wrong, yeah, but Lord, we just want to be whole. And Lord, I just release right now in the name of mm-hmm. Jesus. Push the areas that has been uh, hidden Push to areas where there has been a lightly anointing of a scab that's not healed deep Ooh. in the wounds. Maybe even rejection, Father, right now in the name Come of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Father, I command right now in the name of she- Jesus that the relationship. Lord, I prophesy right now that you will go into the stony hearts, Father, mm-hmm. as your word says. The Lord, you remove the stony hearts and put a new heart in them. And so, Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, you would go in, that you would speak to us that you were real to us, whether it's a dream vision or whether they know in a natural father right now in the name of Jesus, yeah. where we just release our father right now in the name of Jesus, right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you of flow, flow healing salve in those areas. And Father, I know yeah. it's the heart, but also I know that it is the mind. So Lord, right now I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would touch the mind to bring yeah. the results to the heart and the soul. So we release it right now, Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. that you soften that area. Mm-hmm. And Lord, I declare and decree, Lord, and, and, and declare and decree that relationship with their mothers, who's ever watching this right now, that mm-hmm. is on kind of like rocky ground, stony grounds, however you want to see it, mm-hmm. uh, just distance-wise. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, yes. that you would just break that up right now in the yeah, name of Jesus. On. And Lord, I just bind the spirit of, of the demonic that wants to uh, cause confusion and to do word um, uh, curses or word confusion right now in the name of Jesus, that mind-binding spirit, I command it off right now in the name of Jesus. I command to be healed right now by the power Mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost. Lord, I command right now in the name of Jesus, Mm -hmm. right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you, Holy Spirit, right now that we choose to release and forgive the other person. Lord, we choose. Just say, Mm -hmm. Lord, I choose to release and forgive my mom, to say her name, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I choose to release and I receive your wholeness and your healness right now in my heart. Mm-hmm. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit, right now that my acceptance, my love, my restoration Come on. only comes from you. And I thank you, Abba Father, that you're coming in restoring those areas in my life, restoring the areas of my life. Lord, I choose not to hold on to a grudge. Lord, I release it right now. Lord, as they would test, take their hands and make a, a ball and just say, Lord, I just release it and just lift it up to the skies and say, Lord, here it is. I just release it to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just release and just name what that what that was mm-hmm. right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just release abandonment, my Father. It just Come felt, I just felt, Lord, that, you know, that this, my mom wasn't here for us, that I was abandoned, that I was not uh, looked up to maybe other siblings and such. Lord, I just release it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you validate me. And Father, I ask you to bless her right now in the name of Jesus, that you would bring that restoration. Lord, I prophesy that anything that's been divided, division right now in the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit you do in, and you are the restorer, the breach. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Nehemiah, Lord Jesus, that he was he was rebuilding the walls, Father. Lord, he had a sword in one hand and he had, uh, he had the, the, uh, the equipment to, to build the wall in that time and season of their life. And Father, I pray and declare and decree, Father, that the walls of restoration will come down and Lord, forgiveness will come for both parties in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. And we just break any generational curse of strained relationships in the bloodline. We cut the cord of that iniquity and we just command restoration right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Any strained curse in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. All right.
but you want to close in prayer? Yeah, yeah. So we just we just love you guys. We just thank you for sorry about the interview with David that wouldn't come through. We're excited to have him on here again. We're not sure what happened, but uh, watch his video. I think it's about 15 minutes just to see the fruit in his heart. You'll feel the presence as soon as you look at it. So cultivate the uh, the presence of God. Hey, Betsy, how are you? Just Hello. cultivate the presence of God. Get hungry for the presence of God. Just let this broadcast just stir you up because everything we prayed today came from us just getting to know the Father at an intimate level. And as you cultivate the glory, as you experience who Jesus is, you will want to go lay your hands on the sick. It's all like out of overflow because he will give you the heart to see the broken heart at heal. You can do everything that we're doing here as sons and daughters of God. So we just bless you. We just bless every gift. We bless your week and we just bless you with hunger to go seek out the presence of the Lord and just to, the tenacity to cultivate it. Amen. So we just thank you, Holy Spirit. And Lord, I just ask you in closing, Father, that you would just bring supernatural finances in people's situations that they're going through today. Lord, I just ask you, Holy Spirit, that you would just send an angel of finances to them, Father, right now. Lord, that let them have a, a deposit whether it's a checking account, savings account, whether it's a bonus that was unexpected to come in, whether it was an unexpected check. And I know this is lots of guts for me to do right now, but I've, I've seen it uh, about the last 10 minutes for me to say this. And Go so it really makes me uncomfortable, uh, but we do take risk, R-I-S-K. Yes. And so Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we just call it forth, we declare it and decree it. And be blessed by this. Broadcast. Broadcast. And we, we, we promise we'll have David on soon. We love yes. you guys. Love you. Bye.